Let us have sample problem number one. So, an airplane from rest accelerate on runway at 5.5 meter per second squared for 20.25 seconds until it finally takes off the ground. What is the distance covered before takeoff? So, first, of course, we're going to find out the given in the problem. So, as you can see, we have here 5.5 meter per second squared and we have 20.25 seconds. Okay, so first we have the given. So, of course, our given is 5.5 meter per second squared. So, we have the seconds dito. And then, of course, the 20.25, since we have the unit second, so that will be the time. Okay, so we have the time and we have the initial velocity. Since wala namang sinabi dito yung velocity, of course, uh, we will assume that the initial velocity is 0 meter per second. And of course, what is the distance covered before takeoff? Of course, we are going to find out the required, which is the, the distance. Okay, next equation. So we will be using the equation D is equals to initial velocity times the time interval plus 1 half A T squared A. It means that V I is the initial velocity, T is the time. And of course, we have the one half and then the acceleration and then the t uh, or the time squared so what, we, what will be the solution for this of course we're going to substitute all the given in the problem so our initial velocity is zero so ito ang ilalagay natin zero meter per second and our time interval is 20.25 20 seconds so ito yun and then copy lang natin yung one half and then our acceleration is A, 5.50 meter per second squared. And we have the T, which is the 20.25. So, is substitute lang natin dito. And then, we will perform the given example. Of course, 0 times 20.25, any, any number that is multiplied to 0, which uh, it will result to 0. So, ito yung 0 na to. And then, we will copy first the 1 half. And then, before we multiply it with the 5.5 and 20.25, of course, since my square dito, we will multiply it by itself. So, 20.25 times 20.25, that's 410.06 seconds squared. So, S times S, that's S squared. So, since na-multiply na natin to at na-perform na natin to, so we can now multiply it with 5.50. Okay, and then when we multiply 5.50 times 4. 10.06 that results to 2,255.34 meters. Bakit naging meters lang yung natira dyan? Of course, pwede na kasi natin i-cancel yung second seconds. Kaya natira na lang is yung uh, meter, which is the unit for the distance. So, ayan, 5.5 times 410, so that's 2,255.34 meters. So, when we multiply it to 1 half, or we divide it by 2, that will be uh, 1,127.67 meters. So, this is our distance. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung ating given na problem dito, it's for horizontal motion. And po, so, what if it is a vertical motion? So, let us now have the second problem for the vertical motion. So, Z is playing with a ball on top of a building, but the ball fell and it hits the ground to 2.6 seconds. So, what is the final velocity of the ball just before it hits the ground and how high the building is? So, of course, let us have the given first. Of course, since it's a free fall, so, di ba, nandun siya sa top ng building, nalaglag ang bola that, nag -hits, that hits the ground after 2.6 seconds so our acceleration due to gravity so we will talking about the acceleration and since it's a downward force downward motion so free fall so we will have 9.8 but since sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina during our discussion whenever it is free fall anything that fall anything that drop okay the acceleration will be negative since the motion is downward pababa so it signifies negative the reason why our acceleration to the gravity is negative 9.8 meter per second squared and we will assume that the initial velocity is 0 meter per seconds kanina isa rin dun sa diniscuss natin na if you are on top of the building and you're going to drop something so the initial velocity is always 0 so the reason why we will assume that the initial velocity is 0 meter per second and of course we also have the seconds here 2.6 seconds which denotes the 
time. Okay, so we have 2.6 seconds. So, anong tinatanong dito ng lalawa? So, we have, we are looking for the final velocity. And of course, we are looking how high. So, we are talking about the height, the distance. Okay, so required, we will, look, we will be looking for the final velocity. And of course, we will be looking for the height. And for the equation, we will be using first the final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus the acceleration due to gravity times time. So, of course, we will be, uh, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, is a substitute lang natin lahat ng given. So, our initial velocity is 0 and our acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. And yeah, so negative 9.8 meter per second squared and then multiply by 2.6 seconds. So, the result is negative. So, 0 minus 25.28. So, we will arrive at negative 25.48. So, kung i, uh, ano pa natin siya, i-round up. So, we will arrive at negative 26 meter per second squared. So, that will be our final velocity. And of course, we're still looking for the height. So, to get the height, so kagaya nung sinabi ko kanina, the equation are also the same with the horizontal motion. However, we will just change the distance or the displacement to height. And of course, uh, the acceleration will be changed to g, which uh, symbolizes the acceleration due to gravity. So again, for in this case, we will be uh, substituting all the given in the problem. So our initial velocity is 0, so that's why this is 0. And then our time is 2.6 seconds. Of course, we will copy the 1 half. And then our acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8, and our time is 2.6. And then we will be... Uh, Oh, switching our cut na pala natin dito. So, of course, 2.6 seconds, uh, i-ano uh, lang natin yan, i, so, i-squared lang natin yan, and then when we, 2.6 times 2.6 times negative 9.8, and then we will divide it by 1 half, and then we will be multiplying it to 2.6. Of course, we will arrive with a uh, height of 33 meters. So, ang mangyayari dyan, so, makakancel na natin yung second seconds and then meet uh, and yeah okay and then we will arrive at 33 meters so that will be our final answer